1210 and welcome to another geocaching adventure and today I'm doing another geo dare and this is a really good one because living in a place like Sydney so a lot of people it's highly urbanized you tend to find a lot of micro and a lot of small geocaches and it's really rare that you get to find a medium or a large but they're out there they're just not many so today's geo dare I have to find not one not two not three but four medium geocaches so really excited about this one this geodare came to me from blaze 07 live so thank you so much and let's get to it first GZ is right here, this really awesome old cave and it's, it's really cool, there's some like really old Aboriginal um, rock paintings and, and stuff like that in there. Fortunately, Cache is not in this cave, it's on top of this cave somewhere, so I think I'm going to try and get to the top somewhere over here, it means some rock climbing. So, made it to the top, and it's a really awesome view down below. That's where I was just before. So, where's the cache? Well, if you come over here, there we go. There's the lid, and there's the bottom. So it's been it's been tampered with, which made it easy to find. However, I didn't have to come up as far to get it. <laughs> uh, they just added to the difficulty rating. Oh well. that a geocache has been muggled like that. So I've signed the log and I've put it back as best I can and I'll leave a note for the CEO. I even rescued a TB from there because if it's gonna get muggled again, I don't think this little guy would last. So, it's one down, three more to go. Right, just above me here, is the Gore Hill Freeway. This is the main freeway in the middle of the city and we are right underneath it. And if we turn our attention over here, be careful, and we move that, there we go. There is our next medium right there. That one took a little longer than expected. The coordinates were a good 30 meters out, but I got there in the end. Um, so that is number two. So we're halfway through this geo dare. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so I just got to GZ number three. And although it looks like I'm deep in the Aussie bush, I am actually only 8 k's away from the middle of Sydney. Check this out. Not sure if you can see it through the trees, but there in the distance, just over that, that water you can see, is the middle of Sydney. That is Sydney Harbour right there, and that's where we've got Sydney Central Business District. So we're not that far away. So, where is this cache? We turn around, we've got a big, big rock, which is always telling, and ah, there we go, right there. Okay, so the logbook sign, and it's put back 
Off we go, last one for the day. So, I have finally made it to my fourth GZ of the day, where well, hopefully I'm gonna pick up this fourth mystery that I need to complete my Geo Dare. As you can see, I'm a bit red. Spent half an hour walking through the bush. <laughs> I've got a drop there behind me. Walking through the bush, trying to find this damn thing. And then as soon as we got here, we found the trail that leads on. I'm nowhere near the beach, but look, I found a shell <laughs> lurking in the bushes. I thought the courts told you not to do that anymore. Anyway, come check out this view. This view has just made the, the bush bash all, all worth it. All right, so let's come take a look. And if we come down in here, Suspicious pile of rocks. There it is. My fourth medium. If we open this up as well, check it out. We got all these CDs. Who listens to CDs anymore? Well, this is 13 years old. It was placed here in 2005. So yes, we were still listening to CDs then. And uh, yeah, it's nothing I listen to anyway. So I can sign the log and put this back. So that is another Geodare done, four mediums in one day and one large. <laughs> if you've got a Geodare you want me to do, let me know in the comments below and I'll put it on the list and I'll get it done when I can. All right, I've got to get going because this guy has to periscope this find. I'm Roddy1210, thanks for joining me. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe and hit the little bell icons so next time uh, I get another geocaching adventure online, you'll get a notification straight away. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time. Um, um, I can feel the spirits, the spirits are within me. Rodney, can I be your fifth medium? First time watching what it subscribe. I do these every single day. Press those three buttons down there and just click follow. And you can join in live in the chat. Just like eat, sleep, catch, repeat. First on the rank. Pikes down under. E E G. Angel G. Russell G. All the G's. Catching the New York is here. Nature nut. Welcome, welcome. Ah uh, yes. Oh, Charles Watkins. Old Morty. Not the young one. Tattoo Square. Drop Bear. Welcome, Jamie Bond. Look at you all joining up. Oh wow, wait till you see where I am today guys, absolutely stunning view, although it's quite cloudy at the moment, it's also going to rain. Thank you for the super heart, Charles Walkins. Crazy Days is here as well, and the Babies have joined us, <laughs> welcome, welcome. It's on the fence, yes, close. Are you in Dubbo at the moment, Isaac? Dubbo. Isn't that what they say? Anyway. <laughs>so that is geodare done four mediums in one day done and uh, you always got to be careful when you're walking around the bush you never know what you're gonna find <laughs> uh, anyway i've got to get going because this guy has to periscope this find now and uh, so make sure you tune into his periscope and um, if you've got a geodare you want me to do you've got a geodare you want me to do